My name is Andy Davis. I'm from the University of Southampton and I'm a uh, lymphoma uh, physician. In this video, I'm going to talk about the symptoms of lymphoma. First of all, I'm going to explain what the most common symptoms of lymphoma are, the symptoms that may come from enlarged lymph glands and what they feel like, and some of the symptoms that these enlarged lymph glands may cause locally, but also some of the symptoms in the rest of the body, the so-called B symptoms. And I'm going to explain why there are so many different potential symptoms from lymphoma. I think the key thing to remember is that many of the symptoms of lymphoma are found in many less serious conditions, so often it's quite hard to diagnose. So what's the most common symptoms of lymphoma? Well, patients often present with swollen lymph glands or, or lumps, and these are typically felt in the neck, in the armpits, or in the groin but actually not all lymphomas present with obvious lumps. Sometimes patients may present with tiredness, fatigue, which is really in excess of what one would experience normally. They may lose weight and they may lose significant amounts of weight without normal dieting. And they may experience night sweats and these are typically drenching and often patients wake up in the middle of the night with wet pajamas and wet bedclothes because of excessive sweating. Sometimes patients may also present with an itch in the absence of having a rash. You might also find it's hard to shake off some infections as the cells of the immune system become less effective in the context of having developed lymphoma. Lymphoma typically presents with swollen lymph nodes. However, the majority of swollen lymph nodes are caused by infection. And actually, this enlargement of the lymph nodes is part of the body's normal infection-fighting response. They're packed with immune cells that are fighting infection, and those cells expand in size and number to eradicate the infection. If you have lymph nodes, however, that are persistent over several weeks or are enlarging, then it's wise to talk to your doctor about these. In lymphoma, we see that typically one or more lymph node is enlarged. Most often we see enlarged lymph nodes in the neck, in the armpits, or in the groin. But actually there are very many lymph nodes that are hidden deeper inside the body that we may not necessarily be able to feel on the surface. These lymph nodes are typically round and are mobile and actually may feel rubbery when you touch them. They're not typically painful, but sometimes patients experience some aches or they may experience pain because there's some pressure on surrounding nerves. These lymph nodes typically persist and enlarge in size, but in some types of low-grade lymphomas and possibly in some types of T-cell lymphomas, we may see that they wax and wane a little, so they may increase and decrease in size over time. So what are B symptoms? Well, these are night sweats and these are typically drenching and often patients who are experiencing night sweats need to get up in the middle of the night to change their night clothes, for example. Patients may experience weight loss, weight loss in the absence of having intentionally dieted. Patients may also experience fever without any obvious evidence of infection. It's important to know about B symptoms and to report them to your team because it may influence the type of therapies that are best suited to treating lymphoma and also potentially the duration of therapies. We talk about local symptoms and these are symptoms directly related to the lymphoma being present in a place of the body. So sometimes as the lymphoma grows, for example, in the neck, it can cause some pain and discomfort. If lymph nodes are increasing in size in the chest, for example, they can cause shortness of breath, they may cause cough, they may cause wheeziness, for example. If lymph nodes are enlarging in the abdomen, patients may experience pain or they may experience bleeding from the bowel, or diarrhea, constipation, bloating, for example. Sometimes lymphoma occurs in the skin and you may notice a red patch or some scaly areas or actually even lumps under the skin. Lymphoma may also occur in the brain and in the central nervous system. And this can present with headaches, fits, some problems with memory or dizziness, or even weakness and numbness in 
the arms or the legs. It's always worth bearing in mind that many of the symptoms from lymphoma are caused also by less serious conditions. I think the important thing is to remember if you're concerned about anything is to discuss this with your doctor. Thank you.